For today's question, we've got a quadratic that we need to solve, and we're going to be using completing the square. Now with the completing the square method, the first step is to look at the constant on that left-hand side. In other words, it's negative four. How do we eliminate that? We need to add four. Now because I'm adding four to the left, I must add four to the right to keep the equation balanced. The plus four and the negative four will cancel, so that will leave me with three x squared plus six x is equal to four. The next step is to consider the coefficient of the x squared term. I need that to be a one. Now to do that, I would have to divide by three. And because I divide that term by three, I must divide every term by three. Again, to keep the equation balanced. These threes will cancel. So that leaves me with x squared. The six divided by the three, that is two, so we've got two x, and that is equal to four over three. The next step is the completing the square step. In other words, we're going to have something squared on the left is equal to four over three plus something else squared. Now inside these brackets, we would have an x. We've got x squared, which gives me the x squared here. We then consider the coefficient of the x term and that will give me what goes in here and over here. What we do with this term, well, it's positive, so I know I've got a plus here. We take the coefficient, 2, and we divide by 2. So that gives me 1. And over on the right-hand side, again, it's going to be 1, but it's going to be 1 squared, which is still 1. So we've got x plus 1 squared is equal to... Now, 4 over 3 plus 1, well, this 1, we can write that as 3 over 3. So I've got 4 over 3 plus 3 over 3, which is 7 over 3. The next step is to get rid of this square term here. And to do that, I'm going to take the square root on the left, and therefore I must take the square root on the right. Now, the important thing to uh, consider here and to remember is that we have to have a plus and minus here. When we take the square root of this number, we will get a positive and a negative answer. On the left-hand side, the square root and the squared will cancel, which leaves me with x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. And the last step is to eliminate that plus 1 here by subtracting 1 from both sides. So that gives me that x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.